Good seeing you again. How you doing, Mark? You too. Even though we may not be talking all the time, we're always together. That's that's a good feeling. <laughs> it is a good feeling. Uh, that's the, as I say all the time, I've, I've read studies on it. The thing that fills our hearts and souls more than anything is, is belonging to, to a community. And um, that's one of the things that I've always been really excited about when I first heard about your, um, what you're doing. I mean, you're doing amazing stuff and uh, in a world that needs amazing stuff. So let's start with, uh, for those who may not, this is like Gidon the sequel or something from a few years ago when we first did this. Um, but um, can you formally introduce yourself and tell a little bit about your background? Sure, so um, my name is Gidon Bromberg and I'm the Israeli co-director of Echo Peace Middle East. In fact, I've been the Israeli co-director since its founding uh, uh, for the last 25 years. Um, I, uh, uh, as, a, uh, as a teenager, already wanted to contribute to peace building mm -hmm. uh, in Israel and the region and, um, and was looking for the opportunity of how to do that. I, I, I was born in Israel, grew up in Australia, but came back to Israel with peace building in mind and uh, was fortunate to have the opportunity to, um, uh, to be offered a scholarship at American University in Washington, D.C. in 93, 94. And uh, that was the, at the time of the uh, peace treaty negotiations between Israel and Jordan and uh, the signing of the uh, Oslo Accords between uh, Israelis and Palestinians. And uh, as part of my uh, master's in international environmental law, I asked the question, would uh, uh, peace be good for the environment? And my research concluded that, well, uh, apart from a little bit of lip service, uh, environment was on the peace agenda. And, and one of the conclusions of my uh, thesis were that, well, perhaps if environmentalists, Israeli, Palestinian, Jordanian, at that time also Egyptian, could come together, maybe we could make sure as a civil society organization to put the environment on the agenda so that peace would not only be peace between people, but also peace uh, with our uh, shared environment, with our nature. And I was fortunate enough to, um, uh, to implement you know, the, uh, the recommendation of my thesis. And uh, within um, a few weeks, uh, met up with some individuals in Washington and asked them, would they fund the first ever uh, gathering of environmentalists uh, from the region that would include Israelis. And uh, I managed to convince uh, one particular individual that said, you know what, if you can organize it, I'll fund it. It was only $20,000. And uh, uh, on the second day of, of that meeting that took place at the, uh, in December 1994, uh, the decision was made to create EcoPeace. And that's what I've been doing ever since. 